what adjustments do you guys have to make in here? Um, just kind of settle down. Uh, you know, we learned a lot from the previous two games, and we didn't want to make those same mistakes, you know, knowing that they, they're they going to help uh, anytime we get into the paint. And, and uh, we got to find you know, our shooters with one less dribble than we usually make. So, um, you know, then we only hit 11 turns tonight, which, you know, is great for us. You know, we want to stay under 12. Um, but we didn't, you know, have any, you know, self-inflicted plays where we just kind of gave them the ball and let them get on transition. And defense was key. So what was the conversation on the court? What was the focus for you guys tonight? Locking in. Um, locking to the game plan, knowing guys' personnel, you know, knowing that the ball is going to be in, in Kawhi, PG, and Lou's hand, um, force them to their – you know, they good going both ways, but force, force them to their weaker hand and um, just showing showing walls so they can't you know get to the basket, um, make them take tough shots, no rise up threes, and um, we did a good job with that. They made some tough shots. Um, you know, where our help side was there, taking charges and uh, getting a lot of deflections. And that's what we got to continue to do. You've talked a few reference before some of the struggles you guys have had when LeBron steps to help. Um, that third quarter stretch, you guys extend the lead without LeBron on the floor. What was key there, and, and what? Uh, we're going to need to be able to you know, play without him in uh, the playoffs a little bit when he needs his rest. And so, uh, you know, we're getting so much better at it. Uh, we're continuing to learn and try to figure out, you know, plays and, and sets that we can run you know, without him on the floor with the guys that we have in. Also, guys are playing with a lot of confidence, uh, making shots. Um, we're taking a challenge defensively you know, when he's out the game, and um, they've been working for us. So, you know, when he gets his rest, you know, we all got to step up. What, what, was playoff playoff series? what was the playoff series against the Clippers feel like? Just like that. Uh, chippy, uh, defensive-minded. You know, scrappy, um, the best type of game from coming out of there with you know, bloody lips and scratches and, you know, guys taking charges and guys chirping, you know, it's, those are the type of games that you live for, you know, the fun games in basketball um, that every player in this locker room wants and, um, uh, it was a fun game. Did they feel like a home game and they didn't the playoffs? Would that be a big advantage for you guys? Uh, we feel like everywhere we go is a home game, you know, like a nation always travels. Um, so they were definitely on our side today. Going, Going forward, forward, how has the series really changed things psychologically? Around. Going forward, how has, it, how has it changed psychologically that you guys have now both beaten each other at full strength? Um, I mean, it's one game, but, uh, you know, like I said, the first two games we, we beat ourselves. You know, we feel like we had both games and we, we kind of beat ourselves and, you know, gave, gave the game away. Um, right now, it feels good just because we can create a little bit more separation in the standings. Um, you know, they're creeping up on us. So, uh, but, I mean, it was a good win, especially for a 12 30 game. You know, sometimes we, it's not our, it's not our, you know, <laughs> typical games that we like to play on, but, um, you know, it, it was a good win for us. You guys turned things, turn things around in the third quarter. You guys turned things around in the third quarter, and you've done that multiple times. Is that a characteristic of this team? No, I just try to come out in the second half and not let the, the game get away from us. Um, you know, down four, and we remember what we did against Milwaukee. We started start the third quarter on an 18-0 run. Right. Uh, and we wanted to make sure that we come out with a little bit more offensive intensity um, and aggression. We, we didn't shoot the ball well um, in the first half, and, you know, Guys shot extremely well in the second half, so you know, guys just came out more aggressive. Last well, two questions. How big of an achievement is it for this team to, to win these last two games? How big of an accomplishment would you say it is to win these two games against two elite teams? Uh, I mean, we know the type of team that we are. You know, we if we don't do things that um, to beat ourselves, then you know we feel like we can beat anybody. And like I said, the first time we played Milwaukee and the previous two times we played the Clippers, we, we beat ourselves. And you know, when we don't do that um, and, and you know, be a, get, a, get a shot on goal every time and don't turn the ball over, then you know, we're a tough team to beat. What did uh, the kind of weekend that LeBron had this weekend, the way he played against Giannis, and then what he did for you guys tonight, what kind of message did that send? MVP. Is it? MVP. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.